Hello guys, Rudy here, and this is what we are going to do in this video. We have a gallery with the pictures of the users based on their email. And in case the user doesn't exist or there is no picture, we are just going to show this generic picture here. So we are going to start from this point where you have only a sample picture and we are going to end at this point with all the pictures and gen the, the generic image. So stay tuned, like, subscribe and let's get started. Right, let's understand better what I have here right now. Here is just a gallery showing data from an Excel table right now because this is just a demonstration app and I'm using Excel to show the capabilities of Power Apps. Here we are connected to TB Contatos, that's T TB Contacts. If we look at the data, basically we have some information here. The name, the email, department, a comment, and a phone number, that's all. I want to get the image based on the mail of the person. Okay, so how can I do this? How can I know that what's the image for Rudimar, what's the image for Diana, for Bruce, and so on? Well, we have one connector that uh, queries the image from the OFS information. And this connector is the OFS 365 users. So let's type here in the connections, data, add new data, and then I can create a new connection. That's this one, Office 365 users. Once I connect to it, I will need to select an existing connection, or if you don't have, you just create a new one. Since I already have, I'm going to use this one. I'm going to click, and the connector is loaded to the app. Here we have the connector right now. And there is one call to this connection that brings the user image. Let's try bringing right here in the picture already. We are going to do some adjustments later, but let me show you working right now. Here we have the sample image that comes by default. Let's remove that and then use this connector to try getting the image of each user. So let's type OFS 365 users. And we see that if we put the dots, we have several functions here that we can use. And the one we are going to use right now is user photo v2. Once we click here, it shows that we need to provide the user principal name or ID. In this case, is the user email. So let's put this item because I'm inside the gallery context dot email. That's the attribute that has the user's email, okay? So this item dot email and I close the parentheses. Once I close the parentheses, it will try getting the image for each user of the gallery. Let's play and see what happens. We only have pictures right now for Rudimar, that's me, Diana and Bruce. Why is that happening? because the other users don't exist on my tenants. They are not users from my organization. They are here, they are just fake emails and they have they don't even exist. That's why they don't have pictures. And I want to show that default picture or just, just a generic picture instead because I just want to show something. What I want to show right now is this image here that I just downloaded from Pixabay, that's a site for downloading free images. And I uploaded inside my app. So I downloaded a SVG, went here to the media and imported here. It's the user with a number dot SVG. If I click here, I will see the, this picture right now. This is the one we want to show inside each item of the gallery right here if we don't have an image okay so how can we do that we need to put some condition here to test if we have the image and in, in case we don't have then we show that image in the place of the one that doesn't exist so how can we know if one user has an image or not 
there is another function that we call that we get the image metadata and then check if the image exists. Let's do first, let's put a if to test the condition. So let's call again the auth 365 users dots. In this case, we have a metadata. So let's let's see the correct uh, the correct name because I don't remember. But if I see, I will remember. Why is it not showing? Let me just put a comma here and try. Dots. Yes, now I'm seeing the options. Okay, and the one I want right now is the user photo metadata. Again, I need to inform the user email, that's in my case is this item dot email. And then I have to put the dots to access the properties and the property I want right now is has photo. This will return if the user has photo or not. If the user has, I'm going to show his photo by showing uh, using this function to get the image as we just did. So the first condition, that's true. And the second one, if false, that the user doesn't have a picture, I'm going to show the generic one, that's this one, user-33, and so on. So let me type the name and get the name of the picture I just uploaded, that's this one. Okay, now I'm going to close the parentheses and it will do the test. We are still not done, we still have one error to face. See, it's just showing this message because those users don't even exist in my tenant, so it's giving an error because the function doesn't work for users that don't exist. We need to treat this error in inside the function. So otherwise, the users will always see this message, they will get bored and also is not working properly yet. So, how can we do if the user doesn't exist? Well, there is one function, that's the if error. Okay, I'm going to open the parentheses, pass the first argument, that's this one. Okay, in case it works, it's fine, it will return true or false. But in case it gives an error, it will return the second argument. In this case, it's a false. That means it doesn't have a picture because it doesn't even have an user, right? It's like an if, but that tests for errors, okay? Now we have the complete formula. So we try to see if the user has a picture or not. If the user has, we get the image. If not, or if, it's, if there is an error and we return false, we return the generic picture. Let's play the app and see the result right here working properly and not giving us error messages. What do you think about this explanation? Let me know in the comments. Let me know if this was useful. I myself use a lot of times this formula, so I think it will be useful for a lot of people. Please like and subscribe if you liked for more videos like this. Thank you. Bye bye.